This is a quick tutorial on how to use the new pop-up feature inside Shot Tracer Pro. I'm doing this tutorial on a MacBook, but the same UI applies to a Windows device. Let's get right into it. First thing I want to do is upload a video that I want to work with. I have this video of me hitting a drive here, um, and there's some great um, positions where we can add pop-ups. For instance, those bunkers here. I want to give the viewer an idea on what the distance is to one of those bunkers. I actually want to tell them how far it is to carry the first bunker right here. So to do so, I simply go to the pop-up sections, press the plus sign, and now I can choose from different options. I can either upload a custom image, um, upload a floating pop-up, a pop-up with an arrow up, down, to the right, or to the left. In my instance I would like to create a custom pop-up with the pop-up editor with the arrow down so I, I will choose that. What you see below here are other pop-ups that I've previously created and that I saved as preset so I don't have to redo a pop-up once I've built my custom pop-up that I like and I want to work with in the future. Now let's create one from scratch so I'm gonna work with a arrow down pop-up and now the system basically wants me to write what kind of text I want to appear in the product um, pop-up. So I will start with something called carry. I could either set bunker, but um, in this case, I would like to say carry. So how far is it to carry that bunker? I'll set a distance to 244 yards. Um, the units are below, so I just need to set the units to yards. And that's all text edits. So you just write text. Make sure you, that in the value field, you don't put the text, just the numbers, and I'll tell you why in a minute. And then press OK. Now the pop-up has appeared. I can now position the pop-up wherever I wish in the video. And now I want to customize it. Essentially the size, the color, um, and, and more. We'll walk you through how to do so. Now to customize the pop-up, I want to click the error that's left of the pop-up name to display the different features and components I can now customize. I can change the text if I wanted to. So for example, if I decided now to change it to bunker, I'll just change it to bunker. If I decided I wanted to change the value, I can change the value. Next thing I can change is if I want to add value animation to the pop-up. Value animation means that the text, meaning the numbers, the value numbers will playback in a um, counter uh, kind of animation to display. Let me show you right here. Let's put it to 1.5 seconds. So now those, the value will count for one and a half seconds from zero to 255. One thing you just noticed is that the pop-up also appeared once I actually hit the shot, but I want the pop-up to appear before I hit the shot. To do so, I simply go to show trigger and set the show trigger to um, either video start, which in my opinion would be too early to show the pop-up. I actually wanted to show a few seconds before I hit the ball. And to do so, I set the value to shot impact as it was before, but I will set a negative value as my show offset. The show offset basically works with negative values and positive values. Negative meaning it will show um, from the trigger a minus will show they say minus two seconds minus two will show it two seconds before you hit the shot or a positive number will show it two seconds after you hit the shot here i will do minus two enter and i will now have the pop-up appear two seconds before i hit the ball i'll change the value animation to something more reasonable for this sort of pop-up which is let's say a 0 0.5 and let's now play it back so the pop-up appears two seconds before I hit the shot, I hit the shot, and now I can also change when I want the pop-up to hide. In this instance, it's set to hide never. I would like to hide it at apex, and to be more precise, one second before, um, I mean, after apex, because we're using a positive number here. If I had minus one, let's say that, uh, a minus for the number, then it would uh, disappear one second before the flight which is apex. Let's leave it at one and see what we got. Pop-up appears, I hit the shot, 
wall flies, hits apex, plus one second, and it hides. Once I'm happy with this, I can adjust the size of the pop-up. This That means the overall scale. So I'm going to actually blow it up humongously big right now, just to show you, um, just to better show you the next couple of features that I want to talk about. The first one being is we can change the color, the opacity, and also the positioning of the different um, pop-up assets. And they're split into categories such as arrowhead, arrow base, left box, right box, title, value, and unit. Let's go over each one of them very quickly. Um, the arrowhead, for example, I can change the color, change opacity um, to that pop-up. I can also change where the arrow is set in the pop-up. Let's see, for example, I want to move it more to the right. So I'll add some numbers to it and take away some numbers if I want to take away some numbers if I want to move it to the left. Um, there you go. Uh, the same applies to the width. I can adjust the width of the pop-up, make it slimmer or, um, or wider, and I can adjust the height. So it gives me a lot of flexibility in adjusting a custom, creating this custom sort of pop-up. Then I can also turn it off. For example, now I have a floating pop-up, so I can use it for different purposes. For example, ball speed, eight packs, um, carry, and let's turn it back on. And then I can also change the arrow base. So that's the red line below it. I can turn it on, turn it off. I can adjust the left box. That's where the title sits in, which in our instance is the bunker. I can turn that off and on as well. I can change the opacity, the color, and the right box, which is where the value sits. I can change all of the metrics here as well. Now, the title is, in our instance, the word bunker. I can change the font to whichever font I would like to be. I can change the size of the font to a bigger font if I wanted to. And then I can also position the text a little bit higher, a little bit lower, more to the side of that initial box where the um, title sits. The same will apply to value. I can do exactly the same with the value. I can change the font, the size, the position, and lastly, the unit. The unit I can do so as well. And if I wanted to, for example, I can also turn off different features, different parts of the pop-up, which gives me an additional um, great ability to, for example, if I wanted to upload a custom um, icon, a custom uh, image, but I wanted to keep that awesome um, animation of those numbers, I could easily do so by turning off all the pop-up um, uh, assets and just keeping that that number around to use my kind of um, uh, graphic, but keep in place the values and the numbers. Uh, I keep them spinning and rotating. Let's see, let's turn it off here. So I can give you an exact example. For example here, so as you can see, that's pretty neat. Now you can use this. You can, uh, if you if you're happy with this with this sort of pop up, uh, you can now save it as a preset. And to save it, simply right click or on a keypad, click with two fingers the name of the pop up. Now you can add it to presets and name it with a custom name. But you can also remove it from your um, from the video if you wanted to. Awesome. This is as simple as it gets. Beyond pop-ups, you can upload custom images. For example, I would love to use a flag in my video. So I'll just upload this flag into my video. Here's the flag. I can resize it, animate it, the same as with a pop-up, which is super awesome and super handy because I can animate it in, animate it out in the video. Tons of features to be explored, extremely customizable. You can be super creative, especially with the different animations that you can use within the custom pop-up feature. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. We're happy to help. And we hope you enjoy our new update in Shot Tracer Pro.